What's up, webheads? It's your boy Spidey Q. It's a rainy Tuesday, but that ain't gonna stop next in Q, so let's get to it. Now, I wanted to talk to you guys a little today about cosplay. More specifically, what I got planned for this year, it's not much, but I do got a couple things planned for this year and what the future holds for Spidey Q. This year, I was planning on doing the Armored Spider. Now, not the one that you guys are thinking from Civil War. The other one you guys might remember from the 90s cartoon. If you remember in an alternate universe, which might even be the same universe now because of the way they've been writing him, Peter Parker is a millionaire with Parker Industries and he has this bodyguard suit that he builds for him and it's all made out of, uh, I think it was adamantium at the time. That was the popular metal. It's an all black suit and it's all plated armor and it looks really badass. So that's something I've been planning on making. The way I wanted to do that is I wanted to take a full black suit lay it on a mannequin and actually individually cut each square so they look like, you know, the armored plates. Individually paint them and place them. I think that's going to be the best way. And I'm going to make those out of foam and not warbla. I'm not the biggest fan of warbla. I'm sorry, I'm just not. I don't like the finish of it. I don't like the the, the texture of it. I, I don't like the way it handles. It's just not something I, I, I've had a lot of, you know, fun using. I really, really enjoy using foams and heat sealing them and actually, you know, like latex sealing them and painting them. I just think it gives them a nicer finish, but that's just me personally. And that's the route I think I'm gonna take with that build. Well, aside from my Mangaverse, which I might do a 3.0, because, uh, you know, Joel's got a new suit out and oh man, is that pattern pretty. You're such an awesome pattern designer, man. Really, fucking A1 work fun. I think that'll be the suit I will rock at Fan Expo. And usually with cosplay, I think we've made the decision now to cosplay maybe two out of the three days or one out of the two days, depending on how we feel. But we kind of want to take a day to just walk the con, not, you know, not have to worry about much, like whether a suit's malfunctioning or whether it's, you know, on properly or if anything's straight. Wow, it's really starting to come down now. So for either the Saturday or the Sunday, depending on when like the big Spider-Verse meet might be, that'll be the suit I will be showcasing and it'll most likely be at Fan Expo. The other cosplay piece I'm going to be doing, I've seen it done a couple times, and I just think it's a great idea, is the cosplay medic. The cosplay medic from Inception, I can't remember the first guy to do it, but man, is that a genius idea. The fact that you know someone is crawling the con with at least a battery-powered glue gun and a small little sewing kit, and even like a little touch-up paint kit, that is just the perfect thing to have at every con, and I think more people should be doing it. So that kind of gave me an idea. In the future, I will be looking to build a cosplay medic corpse full of men, women, whoever wants to be involved in it, but I would like to put together a medevac team that would basically be around at all the major cons from here to the U.S., anywhere really, that are there to strictly repair your cosplays. I think that would be a good idea. And the one I want to make is going to resemble a Canadian World War II field medic. I think they had a really nice clean uniform. It's very recognizable. So plans for that will be coming out. I have a few drawings and a few sketches I'll be releasing like on Instagram at later dates when I start to build the cosplay, but I think it'll catch on and I think it's a good idea. I think it'll just be those two. I might end up doing a tier 10 Warlock for BlizzCon if I can make it out next year, but that's gonna be an announcement at a later date. And yeah, hard to touch on something when you don't know if it's a for sure thing. So tier 10 Warlock is a maybe. As always guys, when I'm gonna be building something, you'll be able to see it on my Snapchats, on my Instagram, and the dreaded Twitter that I still suck at using. But all in all, if you have any questions, comments, tips, crits, anything, you guys are always free to voice your opinions to me. If you can think of a better way to build the cosplays or a better way to do something with the cosplay, I'm always willing to listen, so let me know. But that's all guys, just a quick video to update you on some cosplay stuff. And yeah, I think it'll be, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun this year. Uh, a lot of the, suits that we got planned for cons this year, stuff that we only debuted once or twice, or stuff that I didn't get to wear to its full potential. You're gonna see those at cons this year. And the other reason why we wanted to take only the one or two days to cosplay is you will start seeing cosplay music videos that I'll be posting like little mashups here. And you'll also be seeing like mostly cosplay photography, which is something else we're gonna get into. But that's gonna come at a later date, so you gotta wait for that. All in all guys, I'm excited. Hope you're excited too, and if you are, let me know. But why don't we go ahead and wrap it up, because sitting in the truck while it's raining is just depressing as hell. And as always, guys, if you like what you saw today, go ahead and click that like button. And if you plan on sticking around for more, why don't you hit that subscribe button too. And you know, if you can think of one or two friends who might want to see this, you can always share the video as well. 
But with that being said, guys, thanks for hanging. I'm Spidey Q. Lots more coming from your boys. So as always, stay tuned, y'all.